I love cooking for a million reasons, but I think the true love of it started when I was a kid. I remember smelling my grandmother's cooking and, and I always wanted to know how she did things and made them so delicious. And I think once you're that young and it kind of becomes your life and you find it as a passion, it's not a job. To me, Miami has one of the fastest growing food scenes I've ever seen. The chefs that are here now are pushing the envelope much more than before. So I think we need to remember this is all because we love to cook and it's fun. For me, inspiration for new dishes is coming from the product itself. The seasoning kind of speaks to me. Once you learn the basics of cooking sous vide, it really does take the percentage of error down significantly to where you can really focus on creating a magical dish. Hi, I'm Chef Jeremy Ford and welcome to my home. Today we're going to be featuring one of our signature dishes from Stubborn Seed. It's our truffle butter chicken dish. I hope you enjoy. So the first step is we want to be able to pull the skin back just enough to be able to stuff it with our black truffle garlic butter. You do not want to pull all of the skin off and deattach it. So we're going to go until just enough so we can fit up underneath. Take our black truffle garlic butter and you kind of smear that because what this is going to do is really flavor the chicken while it's cooking in the circulator. You'll get a lot of the black truffle, you'll get garlic and not just on the outside, this will actually be flavorful all the way through. And then we gently put it back together and that's step one. Now we're going to season the chicken, fresh cracked black pepper and a good amount, kosher salt. We always season from high above. It almost creates like a snow effect where every part of the chicken will get seasoned. Now we're gonna bag up the chicken. First we're gonna kind of fold back the top of the bag so it's easier to close and cleaner and we'll make sure we get a really tight seal. And you wanna separate them just a little bit so they're not touching because they won't cook properly if they are touching each other. So we're just gonna close this, making sure that it's very straight. Tuck it in here. And we're gonna vacuum and seal. We got a good clean seal and it's ready to be cooked. Now we're gonna go on to the rest of the dish, which is the vegetables. I like to cut off about this much of the asparagus just because it's a little bit on the woody side, so we don't want any undesirable textures while we're eating. We wanna make sure they're peeled, so what I do is kind of rotate your left hand and get one even layer off of the asparagus, and it should look like this. So now we're gonna move on to our turnips. These are baby turnips, however, they're gonna come in different sizes. One crucial thing to make sure you do is that you have everything the same size so it cooks evenly and you don't have one that's over or undercooked. So we're gonna match our smallest turnip. Now all of our turnips look very similar in size. But the other component to our braised turnips are gonna be kombu. This is a dried kelp. It adds a lot of umami to whatever you're cooking, but definitely a key ingredient in uh, making delicious food. We're just gonna take our scissors and trim small matchstick pieces. So for the asparagus, we're just gonna take them, put them in the bag. We wanna make sure they're all flat. This one's just gonna get a little bit of olive oil. Salt. Okay, so now for our beautiful little baby turnips, we're gonna add the kombu that we sliced, butter, a little bit of salt,
Now we're going to place our pearl onions in the bag. Um, we have some bay leaf, fresh, a little bit of salt, some duck fat. Now that the hard work is done, we put it in the water bath and let it cook. We're gonna cook the chicken at 165 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 minutes. Now we're going to drop in our vegetables. So for the onions and the turnips that we have, we're gonna cook those for between 10 and 12 minutes. At the halfway mark, we'll drop in our white asparagus, which will all come out at the same time. So now that four minutes has passed, we can go ahead and add in our white asparagus for the remaining six minutes. So now that our chicken is out of the water bath, we're gonna take the bag and cut it open, and then we'll dry it off. And now it's ready to go into the pan. We're gonna let this sear until we get a golden brown color onto the skin. Probably two to four minutes in there. You can always take a peek and check on it. We'll add some butter. And now everything we're gonna flavor the butter with. Fresh bay leaf, cracked, torn. Fresh thyme, rosemary. And this is really gonna give a delicious, aromatic essence to this entire dish. So now that the chicken has got some nice color on the skin, we're gonna turn it over and let it sit on those beautiful herbs underneath. So that way when we go in the oven, it's picking up even more of the rosemary, the bay leaf, the brown butter that's created from roasting. Now go into the oven at 425 for about four to six minutes. Okay, so here are the pearl onions and baby turnips that have been drained of uh, most of the juices. We're keeping a little bit of the kombu in there so when we roast them, we get a little color, we'll get some flavor on there as well. And in our pan here, we're just gonna put just a touch of olive oil. What is better than that, guys, huh? And you don't wanna move them around too much because you wanna get a little bit of color to the caramelization and flavor. We'll move them around just a little bit. So now that we have this beautiful brown caramelization on the turnip, it's ready to be plated. For this dish, I chose to do a simple potato puree. I think it really goes well with roasted chicken and roasted vegetables. Chicken has now been resting for at least eight minutes. A very, very important part of the process, as if you cut this too early on, all the juice and flavor is gonna be lost. Super juicy. Now we'll put the vegetables. Some of my little potatoes here. White asparagus that we cooked. Just some chicken skins that we baked off in the oven at 350 until they were crispy. I like to have just a little bit of extra crunch on the dish. But I think a little bit of fresh greenery on all this roasted items kind of makes the plate pop and also adds a little flavor. And this is just a little bit of chicken jus that we've melted with some rosemary, and a little vinegar, and butter. I'm Jeremy Ford and I'm Suvine.